Since the advent of Putin, who once described the breakup of the Soviet Union as the greatest geopolitical catastrophe of the 21st century, a 20th century, Russia's pressure on the other republics to accept its dominance has increased. Its efforts have further intensified after the revolutions, the so-called colored revolutions I've just described, which took place in between 2003 and 2005, as well as the admission of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania to NATO in 2004. The Russians have tried to force the republics into a common market and a security organization with institutions entirely controlled by Russia. And in doing so, Russia has always preferred coercing authoritarian governments to persuading democracies. The existence of large minorities has furnished an additional source of tensions. With Russian support, several of these minorities have revolted in the 90s, Transnistria, inhabited by Ukrainians and Russians, broke away from Moldova. Nagorno-Karabakh, inhabited by Armenians, broke off from Azerbaijan, and South Ossetia and Abkhazia from Georgia. Russia has its own minority problems. In the Northern Caucasus, Russia has fought two wars to suppress Chechen independence. During these wars, Russia accused Georgia of helping the Chechens. While the Chechens are for the moment quiet, they've been flattened essentially, Russia is facing unrest in neighboring republic, the neighboring republics of Ingushetia and Dagestan. In addition, Russia is concerned at the loss of cultural rights and in some cases political status for its own minorities and other republics. And these minorities are the one of the reasons for uh, uh, tensions between, uh, with uh, Ukraine and the Baltic states. Russia will not easily accept the reality of the independence of the other states, nor will the minority problems uh, easily be resolved. We therefore can expect further trouble in relations between the former Soviet states.